Sometimes it gets really good on me. I'm excited. Usually, y'all know I do a video. Um. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, my hair is falling down. Um. Usually, do a video called Friday Fade, and I would have done it in my office. In my makeup room, but I decided to do it on my webcam in my living room, of course, because I have a basket here full of my yearly things. Not day off Friday face, and you probably see some of my Friday face, but they're my yearly face for the year of 2016. <sighs> I did mine. <laughs> And I'm going to show you everything I use 2016 and what I like. Some of the products in here are empty. And some are not. And some might have the teeth go in it. But that's okay. Some of my face are right here. It is the Ultra Care. Um, the Olive Oil. This is full. This is another new bottle. And you can buy these at Family Dollar. Really, really cheap. I don't know a dollar tree sells them. But I got mine at Family Dollar. For like a buck and I also like the argan oil these are good hair products um, they're like oil moisturizing oil for your hair so this is for your scalp and body and this is scalp and body they're both for scalp and body and they're really good to try out I really like them in my hair you know if they make my hair look greasy and oily when I'm, you know, at some times, but when I put them in, when, you use, when I use them on my hair, I don't brush them, I comb them so my hair looks slick, just like in the, in the 50s and 60s, how the guys slick their hair back, or the 50s, like, where are these? Alright, let's get on to the next product. The other product is, I've read and raved about this, this is... Another one of my favorite products. Very expensive. For like $59 a bottle. Can't always afford that. They're expensive. But I got free samples in the mail. I only had to pay like a dollar ninety nine shipping and they sent free samples and they sent me let's see, <coughs> six samples, two of the daytime, four of the nighttime, and one nighttime. I sent in my yearly giveaway, which I believe Lip Balm Queen won, and then the other one's going to my 200 subscriber giveaway, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you will get one of these awesome products, and it is by Christy Brinkley. This is a nighttime cream. Uh, recaptures 360 day night. I use this every night on my face before I go to bed. As you can tell, I'm almost to get closer so you can see it. I'm almost out of it. But I love this stuff at nighttime. I still have like one more bottle. And I love this stuff. It is expensive and I decided to give some away because I want other people to try it and see what they think. And if you want to buy it, it's not, if you want to buy it for a giveaway, that's fine. Like, like I did. But if you want to get them and try them out you can go to their website and it's like a dollar ninety nine shipping and you get a sample to try out and you get um i have another one in here by her too that came and it's an empty product but you get this two of these and you get a tube with the night cream you just get two of the night creams but with the day cream i have two day creams and a tube for wrinkles in the eyes to get rid of crow's feet and or you got wrinkles and stuff that gets rid of it. It started working on my my wrinkles were going away but now it's like mmm -hmm, no wrinkles all over. But I like the tube a little bit better than the cream. And I'm not really sure how much the tube was, but I talked about the product. There's a video in here you can check it out and I showed you how much everything costs. And you can see for that and see what you think. Another one of my favorite products, this is my favorite for a while, for last year, is the Got To Be Rocking It Forever Style Stay Encore Fresh, the dry shampoo. I love this shampoo. I, 
I actually used it this morning on my hair, even though I washed my hair like two days ago. I used it on my hair because my hair started looking greasy and oily, so. And if I could find a small bottle of this, I would like to have a small bottle, so. Uh, maybe a good dry shampoo, even this one, so I can put it in my traveling bag. Because when I went shopping, I got a traveling bag, but I'm going to put body stuff in there when I travel to have it. Another one of my fave products. I tried this out a long time ago when I did a swamp with Bridget. And it's not your mother's Beach Bay Texting Sea Salt Spray. And I've never seen these or never used them. And then I went to Walgreens one day and this is in the markdown bin for 89 cents. And I had to get another one. This is a new bottle. I think this one's the new bottle. One of them's new. Okay. Yeah, I think this one, one of them's new and one of them's not. But I've been using the crap out of one of them. And it's actually, to me, it makes my blonde shine. So I'm loving that. I'm sorry, my nose is just running. It is so cold today in Texas. Another product which I'm almost out of, I use constantly, is Pantene Ultimate Tan BB Cream for my hair. And it is a beauty balm for hair. So, hair protection, salon perfection. And this is another one of my fave hair products. Also, I don't have one, but I'm out of it. And I believe it was Aqua. Was it Aqua now? I don't remember what product it was, but it was in the giveaway that I sent to um, Lip Balm Queen. And it's another one of my fave hair sprays. And I have the spray kind, and I had to spray in the big spray thing, and I ran out. <laughs> I just I have to get some more of this. <laughs> my fave Okay, hang on. I'll go ahead and do this. I love the Milani eyeliner. This is one of my favorite. It is in blue. And I love these eyeliners. I use these a lot. I need to find the Milani eyeliners. I haven't been able to find them anywhere. And the person I did a swamp with on Facebook sent me two of these. And they're good. And I'd like to find some more. Then I like the Maybelline Unscoffable Eyeliner. Because so and I'm sure y'all see me rant and rave on my Friday faves and Monday must have for your makeup collection with a lot of these eyeliners. This has been totally on my, a lot of my Friday faves and Monday must have for your makeup collection. It still is. It's a brush and sponge cleaner by Studio 35 Beauty. And I. You, you can never have enough brush cleaning. You can never have enough makeup brushes. I mean, I have a lot of makeup brushes out of my face, but I didn't put them in this video. But I've been using this. This is like my third bottle. Love the brush cleaning stuff. It's the bomb. If you don't have it in your collection, get it. Alright, another one of my faves is the Olay Professional Pro Cleaner Skin Cleaner Treatment. And this takes away pimples. So if you got a pimple, I always get pimples like right here on my nose. So I always rub this on my nose and it gets rid of my pimples on my nose. <laughs> I love this stuff. It's wonders. It comes in a set with one, two, and three different products you use. But I just love number two. Look, it's already dark. Then I have the Revlon Color Stay eyeliner I love and then I also have this inflammable by L'Oreal I love this and but I have this one and I love this eyeliner as well this is the mascara I'm using for this week and you'll see the video I post tomorrow when I do my weekly makeup for the week the LA color perfect curve voluminous mascara 
you gotta show you this brush. Okay, this is the mod. The brush curves, and you can, I got this at Family Dollar, and the brush curves, and I just love, love it because it gives a lot of volume on your lashes if you want to curve the top cur curved up. It's absolutely perfect. And of course, I know y'all remember when these came out and whatnot. And I have been collecting them. And I'm actually wearing this one on my lips today. And they are the Baby Lip Lip Glosses. And y'all probably seen me put pictures and posts and rant and rave about how much I love these. And that these are things that I'm collecting. So I have three, six, seven, eight, nine Baby Lip Lip Glosses that I constantly love the lip glosses. And I noticed... When I went to Walgreens the other day, I noticed they had the baby lip, lip pencils. I'm going to be getting those. I don't have the lip balms. I have baby lips, like, and there's things like this, but they have the new ones that are round looking, the funny looking containers. I don't have lip balms. I don't have any of those. And I definitely, definitely need to get those as well. Okay. <coughs> I have my Tarte Powder Foundation. I think I'm almost, no? Yeah, I'm about out of this, so I'll be long enough. I'll have to get another Tarte Foundation. Definitely love this Tarte Foundation as well. It's totally awesome. Then I know everybody's been using this. It's a Too Faced Shadow Increase. Um, primer for your eyeshadow, put on your eyes for your eyeshadow. Love this primer. I have an e.l.f. primer I love too, but I was out and the tube got thrown away, so. Another lip product I've been liking and I want to collect. These are the L'Oreal's. I just love this color. My son bought me this. And it's like a red color, so I literally love these these as well. Then of course, as I keep on going, I'm definitely in love. I got this from a swamp, but I had a bigger bottle of this. I love the pond. This is something that should be in your makeup collection as well. Um, I have not opened this one or use it, but I will use it eventually. I've just got other face stuff on my vanity in my dresser that I'm using right now. This is an empty product and it is one of my face and I cannot find this one anywhere at all. And it's a L'Oreal Too Match um, Oil Free and it's in the number N5 and I am like, this one's done and I've been keeping this product because there's a little bit in there but not much. But it's totally empty, and it's one of my favorite foundations of all time. I would love to keep this foundation stocked up, like, with 60 of them. Because it's one of my faves. Do you all remember they came out with CoverGirl again? And I don't, I think... I think I have them all in here. If not, and I find some more in here, you'll know. The CoverGirl came out with the XO Smoochie. I have one. This one's in the color Hot Stuff. There's two. And it's in the, in the shade Firecracker. Um, this one's Glow for It. That's number three. Number four that I have here. Um, out of here, I believe. I can't really read it. We have Glam On, which is five. And then I have this one, Make It Sparkle. And this one here was the last one that I got. Make it sparkle. I believe that was the, yeah, that was the last one I got. And then 
I got ice pink. And I definitely love my sneakies. I want to get them all. I went on Ultra looking for them. I've been looking for them because I want to get one of each. And I cannot get it. Hang on one second. Hello? Hello? Making a video. Yeah, but I can still talk and make it. I'll do. I can do that because I'm almost done making the video. Okay. All right. Anyway, I'm sorry. That was my best friend, Carly. I'll call her right back when I'm done with the video. Then I have here some of my faves. I got these from Walgreens when they had them on sale, and these are lip tints. Um. I don't say a color, but it looks like this one's going to be red and this other brown. And I love these lip tints. I can't really find these anymore, but I'd like to find some more. Because I would love to give some to y'all in giveaway. Oh, my ears. Then, of course, I love my Stay Matte by Ramel London. Y'all know I rant and rave about this one. This one here is like my second one. So, I rant and rave about that one. Then, I've been using the Liquid Foundation, the Hello Polish by Benefit. Um, and, oops, I can't open it. Okay, anyway. Okay. Uh, anyway, y'all know I like this one as well. I've been using the crap out of it. I don't buy a lot of high-end makeup because I don't, I'm not like some people who can afford to buy the high-end makeup, but I have been saving up money because I've been wanting to get, to get me a Lorac palette, and right now they have Lorac palettes on sale at Ulta, and I've been saving up my money to get it, so hope that pulls through. Smashbox! I love the Smashbox. Um, lip product. This is the only one I have. And I got this one in a swamp, I believe. Or I might have bought it myself from a friend of mine, but I don't remember. But I like that one. That was in last week's makeup. Another one of my faves, and I've been sending these a lot, and I've been getting these a lot and sending them in swamps. And I also put one in my yearly giveaway, and it is the L'Oreal Revitalist Miracle Blur, and it's an original. This is the bomb. I have been using this. I've probably got about like that much left in it, so I stopped because I had the new Crystal Brinkley, and I wanted to try it out, but I need to get some more of this. <laughs> they had these on sale at Walgreens, and they were like 89 cents for like the package that just said 89 cents, and these are originally like maybe 15, 20 bucks, and they're like 89 cents because they were getting rid of them. I bought all they had, and so I was like, I'll keep one. Gave one to my cousin and put some in giveaways, and I did put this one in my yearly giveaway because I thought, what the heck? They try it, they like it. You know, they still sell it. Still make them, still sell them. It's just that. I think they just wanted to get rid of them. Here's my other Milani eyeliner. I love the Milani eyeshadows. I didn't put them in my face, but they are my face. I love their little eyeshadows, and I also love the eyeliner. Another one of my face, and you can buy this at Dollar Tree for like a dollar, because that's where I get mine from. And I've been using the crap out of it. This is like my fourth one. And they're the bomb. My son actually took this one for, for me. And I didn't know he stole it from the store. And when we get home, he goes, Mom, I got some for you. I said, what's that? He goes, here you go. I was excited to get it, but how he got it for me was wrong. Then my only matte lipstick. Now, my only matte lip product. I do have a matte eyeliner somewhere in my basket. 
But I got this from a swamp I did with a friend of mine named Connie, and I love the red lipstick. It's my, my baby, my precious. And it's just about my red lipstick. <laughs> then I got my mint bronzer. I love my mint bronzer. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. You can tell that I constantly, like, use it. But I don't always reach for it. I don't just reach it all the time. But I do use it <coughs> when I do it. And you all know this is in my video, my weekly makeup look, and I used this last week too, and I love this. I think this is a, what's a wet, wild, uh, it's a bronzer palette, but I use it for a powder foundation. <coughs> I'm sorry, that's the coffin. And then, of course, um, I got these from the swamp, and they are the MUA lipsticks, and I love them as well. I'm trying to collect all the MUA lipsticks, and I've only got like two. And this is the Knit Matte Lipstick, which is a pretty purple color, and I love it. Because I was doing the lark, lark, the dark lipsticks, but I was doing the vamp look. So I'm going to give a different try this year. This is one of my favorite lip glosses. And it is by Quinique. And you can tell I <laughs> used it a lot. I had this a while, but it don't really smell all that good. I don't really use it because it doesn't smell good so it's something that I just put in here to um, show y'all it's in the number 212 and it's one of my favorite lip glosses but of course I will be going and doing a makeup declutter video again and decluttering some of my makeup and I'll be smelling some of them and if they don't smell good they're going to be trash then I like the <coughs> True Blend Bronzer. I reach for this one, I think more than my NYX right now because I really, really have been using this one a lot. It was a lot puffier than that and it stuck out more. But if you look on my finger, it has that glow, like, I don't know, gold glitter glow. Perfect. Then I love my... Um, Hollywood Boulevard is the name of this one, and it is Shimmer Palette, and it's from the Center Stage Collection by Fergie, and of course it was a lot, like I said, puffier than the way it is now, and it's getting smaller because I like to use it a yeah, lot. My other Wet n Wild favorite is the Innocent Palette here, which is Catwalk Pink. And Illuminating Palette. This is a newer, newer palette that I got last year, and I've been using it. I don't know if y'all can see the pretty shade colors. I'm sorry if it's bright. There you go. How's that? <laughs> now you see the pretty colors. And I really do like this palette a lot. I use, don't use it a lot, but I love it. And then of course I have my Wet and Wild, my fave, my Dolce Lipo. I love the Wet and Wild Dolce Lipo. I sent this to Oh, what was her name? Nettie Baby on YouTube. We did a swamp and I sent this to her and still did not get my swamp box from her yet. I don't know what her problem is, but if she's scamming, I don't like it. I swamp and I'm not a scammer. My all time fave. One of my all time faves. And I bought this. Okay, when my grandmother died, she left me inheritance. So I decided I seen this on TV to give it a world and try. So I bought the sheer cover. Oh my god, this is a shimmer palette. Look at the 
the sign in there. This thing, I'll show you on my finger. It shines. It is like a shimmer palette, but it's all in your face. Shimmer in your cheeks, finger, chin, and your nose, and one night over your forehead. <coughs> I like that. This is one of my all time faves um, foundation. My son bought me this. When he started his first job, which was Whataburger, he had bought me the Neutrogena um, foundation. And I guess, I'm, you know, I really like this foundation. And it's a long wear foundation. It's in the color Natural Ivy number 20. And it is the bomb for me. I literally love it. And I told him many times. He wants to buy me something else. He can buy me that foundation, and of course, I said he buys me lip balm, which is cool. The Fit Me um, by Maybelline, the blush. This blush is an awesome blush. I love this blush. I love the color of the blush. It is so pretty. It's another good product. I have so many products here that I'm totally in love with. Grab a handful. Grab a handful. I'm sorry. Now another one of my faves <coughs> has been the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. And you all know I ordered this from the website from Benefit. Benefit, not Benefit. From um. Anyway, I forget. But I'm loving that bronzer, and I'd like to get this bronzer in a bigger pink pen as well. Then I like LA <coughs> Color Powder Foundation, and you can buy these at Family Dollar for like two bucks. Two, three dollars. It's not that bad. And another one of my faves, I was excited when I got this at Kroger's because I stuck it in the shopping cart without my husband knowing. And he got it for me. And it's the L'Oreal bronzer, and it was like marked down. And I had a coupon for it as well, and I love that bronzer. Because look how big, just look how big that is. That is so big, that's a bronzer for last a lifetime. Okay, <laughs> then another one of my faves. I got from a friend of mine from a makeup swamp that I did. That's How to Move Your Eyes by Essence. And I definitely love this color. Oh, hang on, hold on. Okay. She closed it, but it did shut all the way. Um, she closed it, but it did not shut all the way. Sorry guys, I'm back. Somebody was at my front door, so I had to answer the front door. Okay, let's go on to some more. Okay, another thing I like is baby skin. I love baby skin so much. My 23-year-old son bought me two bottles of these one day. We were, I think it was at Walmart or Walgreens getting, I think it was Walgreens because he was getting sodas. So they had them on sale, and he bought me two of these. He was nice enough to ask me, Mom, is there anything you want? And I said, I want to try the baby skin. So I did. 
pick it up and of course he goes back and gets another one that said in case you like it mom you have an extra back up. My hus husband bought me the Simply Ages um, 3 in 1 foundation and I definitely love this foundation. I, you can tell on the bottom <laughs> I've used like not a lot. I just a little bit, but I want to get more of this foundation. So, by getting more coupons for CoverGirl, okay, yeah, CoverGirl foundation, then I will get that as well. This is in the color. Let's see, Magic, and it is tart. I like the tart brushes, and this one was pretty cool too. I got this one from Bridget in a swamp. I did. I think Bridget sent it to me, and I started of fall in love with this. This is a CoverGirl True Blend brush, and I definitely use it. You can tell it's like going flat, and <laughs> I use this blush a lot. I love it. If you're cold now, lock the front door and turn the porch light out and nobody has to come in. You can't do that? I'm making a video. I can't. Then I have this one I've been using, the Maybelline color. It's a tube. It was like $3.29 at Kroger's. And it's a pretty shade. I've just been using this for, what was it, last week? I guess that's what you do. Last week um, makeup thing, and then my I've been away with my Mary Kay satin lips. I still got two more tubes of these. I love the satin lips. Okay, and of course you know I like the Too Faced um, face primer. These are samples I have, and that one's almost out. <laughs> I still believe that I like. <laughs> Okay. Another one of my favorites, this ain't really my shade, but my mother-in-law bought me this because we've seen it and it was in the markdown bin and she asked me one day if I wanted something and it's the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation, which I, hold on, I'll open it up and show you the color. It's not really my shade, I do use it, but it's not my shade. But I use it a lot, and sometimes, because I have a lot of, I get a lot of dark circles under my eyes, and sometimes I use it under my eyes to cover up some of the dark circles. And y'all know that my favorite lipstick are the, Ma Mother. the Maybelline Color Sensation. This one's what I wore today, because it's in my weekly makeup look for this coming week. And it's in an orange color, it's actually... In the color Coral Crush. So, you will see my makeup look. I already did the video for tomorrow's ma weekly makeup look, but I won't post it until tomorrow. But you'll see this lipstick on me. I just reached it and went on. Then, I still want to, in my giveaway, <coughs> my yearly giveaway, and I also put one, I think, in my 200 subscriber giveaway. I think. No, it wasn't. It was my yearly giveaway, and then I put one in my Facebook giveaway I did last night. And it is the Wet n Wild Cover All Foundation. And I was just watching um, Levin and Gorgeous, and they were saying they were looking for the this foundation and could not find it. I did, and these were actually pretty reasonable. They were on sale, trying to get rid of them, but I like this foundation, I like this color. It suits me perfect. I don't know if Candace Lip Balm Queen, if it's her shade or not, but I'm sure she'll let me know. And then, of course, you know how much Thin Beige Number 6 is one of the best foundations for me. I love the Milani foundation. I also sent one of these to Bethany, and I didn't ask her how she liked the, how she liked the Milani. 
foundation, but I will, next time I talk to her, I will ask her. Okay. Now, I sent some of these to Bethany. I also put some in my giveaway for my yearly giveaway as well. And these are my favorite lip products of all time. I have to say these are perfect. These are the high and shine lip products. And if you look at this one, you know I've been using it a lot. And I use this one a lot as well, as you can tell. I like a lot of colors. And I love these things. These are like so much beautifulness and so much as my face. Some more products. Then, as you know, here's another knit lip stick that I absolutely love. Then I have this one that I got from Bethany in a swamp from Kinko's, and I love Kinko's lipsticks. Then my Maybelline Eye Studio, one of my faves, another one of my faves eyeliner is Black Radius. I love that eyeliner. The only thing I hate about it is it dries up so quick. And it drew, dried up and I had to throw it away. I had it for like maybe four months because I got it in a swamp and then all of a sudden it started drying up. And I was like, when I moved from my bedroom to my office slash makeup room, I had to throw it away because it was dried up. Then I love the e.l.f. Um, blush palettes as well. I like my Essence blush. I love the Essence blush. This one is in the color Baby Doll. And this color suits me. This color is not bright, but it suits me well when I do, you know, use it and wear it. Because, as y'all know, I do pick a blush that I use weekly. And the one I'm using now is another one of my faves, which is in here. And I use it. You can tell. This is a Maybelline New York um, concealer. You can tell it's one of my faves because I use this one a lot. And I'm almost out of it. So I'm going to have to get into more. I'm going to have to make a list of the makeup that I'm running low on that is my fave. So I can get it back up of it. Then I just bought these not too long ago. Like this in the month of December and I've been using these a lot trying them out and they are my faves this one is in the color bronze when I saw this one at Walgreens and picked it up because it was on sale I looked at it and the lady looked at me and I said I'm gonna get this one I opened it up and looked at her and showed her and I swatched it and I said bronze me baby and she goes, is that the color of it? I said, no, but the color is bronze. And she laughed. She really laughed and thought it was funny. Then I have this one here, which is a sh another shimmer palette in the color caramel. And I was like, this is beautiful, but I can't put that on my Sunday. And <laughs> she laughed and said, you like making chips. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Then, of course, I have, I got this beauty treat palette from a makeup swamp that I did with Heidi. Uh, it's a blush palette, but I, it's creamy blushes, and I do not really care for creamy blushes at all. So, as you can tell, that I've been using, I'll show you, oh, this color one, two, three, four. These four colors I've been using on my lips. And I do use this for lip palette. And I'm going to be rearranging my vanity again. And I'm going to set this on my vanity. So if I decide I want to reach for this and use it on my lips, I can as well. And I do have the Profusion lip palettes. But I'm not putting them in my yearly phase, even that I got them last year. Because I'm still, you know, testing them out and using them. But they're really good. But I do use this a lot on my lips. And I reach for it when I'm in a hurry. And then, of course, I love my Ultimate Beauty book. I paid a buck fifty for this. 
at Walgreens like three years ago. And I use this palette. I reach for this palette a lot. And I use this palette a lot. And I'm in a hurry sometimes. And of course, I've been using that lip once. And that's basically the only lip one I've been using. But it's a beautiful palette. And I definitely love it. And I've been using this blush here a lot. And you can tell. Well, you can tell that I use this color right here a lot on my eyes. I'm like a neutral eye person. I don't like to wear a lot of dark colors on my eyes. My mom, she always wore dark red lipstick, blue eyeshadow, brown eyebrow pencil, and went and she would pinch her cheeks or cover girl blush. And that was my mom. Then of course, this is one of my favorites, the L'Oreal Tropic Mascara. This mascara is pretty cool. I would... You can put it in your makeup collection, but it's a thinned and brush. And I usually use this one for my bottom lashes. Sometimes I put it on my top lash, but I use it for like my bottom lash because it's perfect for that. I got this from Brittany and I swamp. And as you can tell, I constantly been using this um, color a lot. That color in this color but I mostly use that color a lot on my eyes sometimes I'll be playing around in my room and when I get ready to make a video I'll just grab a palette and sit at my desk down there and when I'm going live on Facebook or something and I don't have eyeshadow I just sometimes I grab a bronzer palette and bronzer and <laughs> pretty good too oh. This is another one of my favorite mascaras. I mean, not mascaras, but eyeliners by Profusion. It's a really thin pencil line, and I literally love this because it really does line your eyes perfect. Then I have the, it's by Ulta, and it's the Radiant Palette with the blush, the bronzer, and the, sh and the highlighting palette. And I definitely love this. I love the highlighter color. The bronzer and the blush is perfect. I love that palette as well. That's my favorite. The blush nude palette. And I'm sure y'all heard me rant and rave about this palette. Lots of times. And a lot of my Friday faves. And to let y'all know. These two colors that I have my finger on. Are the colors that I've been using the most. Because they're like... Oh, okay, and these two colors at the end too, so it's these two colors on the end and these two colors here that I've been using totally, totally a lot as well. Then of course I have this Revolution Makeup Revolution London. I sent one of these to Bridget in a swap that we did. This is a bronzing highlight. Oh. oh, guys, you see my little webcam? I can't see. This is like my bronzer and highlighter palette, and I use this color a lot. So, and I use these two a lot too. This one, this one, and this one, I definitely use a lot on my face. My phone just went off. Oh well. They can wait. Alright, this is another one of my faves, it's called New Sale, and you can buy it, I bought this one at Family, Do not Family Dog, at Food Fair, well it used to be Food Fair, but now it's Food Town, and I bought it there for my face, it's something I could use, and here's the other thing that goes, it's called Close Up by Chrissy Brinkley, and that's the cream that I like, and I'm out of this, and I need to get some more, but these are expensive. So now I gotta find something else for legal. It's like a crow's feet. Then I like the Real by Benefit mascara. Definitely, definitely love this mascara. I definitely love the Color Pop sticks. Uh, love them a lot. And here is another product I have by Mac. It is a lip 
liner slash eyeliner. I use it for eyes, not my lips. Then I like the Urban Decay Pro Fusion Mascara Perfection. Sorry, Pro Fusion. It's for, yeah, Pro Fusion on. Perfection, Pro Fusion, whatever. Um, mascara as well. Another one of my faves. Then I also like um, the Romel London. This one's empty. It's another empty. I need to get another one when I get a chance. I love that eyeliner. And my two Lorac Lippies. I love these so much. Got these from in a swamp by Connie. And she did, when she did my swamp, she did absolutely beautiful. And she sent me the cutest little makeup bag. Okay. I sent this in a swamp that I did not a, I sent it in a swamp too but that I did with somebody but I also sent it in my yearly giveaway to Candace and it's an all day moisturizer with sunscreen bog berm and serum and I've been using this and I have like it's like that full so it, I'm almost out but I have another bottle I call it, I stockpile this stuff. I stockpile on this. Things that are my faves that I love, trust me. I stockpile. Almost done. Here's another one of them. Um, high shine lip colors too, another one. Another one of my faves is the L Hydro Serum. And this is another one of my faves. I'm not out totally, I don't think. I don't know. I can't tell if I'm out or almost out, but I've been using this a lot. And since when this is finished, because just I know for two more days, then I'll probably finish off this and see if this is empty or not. If I don't break it, definitely if I don't. Ooh, I sent it. Oh no, I didn't. If I don't break it or crack it, it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay, then of course, I have my hard candy eye primer I love. Then I have, I got this as a sample and it's the MAC Skin Base thingy. It's empty. It's empty and I love this stuff. I got this as in a swamp from Kanye and I love it. Of course, I want to get the big ones. And I just seen in the Ulta ad, they do have big ones in one of the ads. And, oh my god, let me take it. I love, oh my god, it smells so good. I just love them. I love the Urban Decay lip glosses as well. I also love the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. As you can tell, I'm almost out of it. When I run out of a product I love so much, I have a cow. I literally do. I guess tomorrow, if I'm not busy, I need to write down what I don't have, what I'm out of and need. I also like the Wet n Wild by Fergie concealer. You can tell it's thin thin and I'm like using the crap out of it. Then I like the NYX Liquid Lippy. You know what I'm saying? As well. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to reach them. My other fave, and I have two of these. I have another one of these, and that's the L'Oreal Buddy Lip CC Cream um, Concealer. If I'm not mistaken. I don't, I'm not for sure exactly what color this is, but you can tell right here that I use this a lot. Then I like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite concealer of all time. And it's a duo concealer, light to medium, by Sure Cover. These things are expensive. I'm going to have to go to their website and see how much it is just for one of these. I used to, when I ordered from them, I got an ad. This is like my third one because they were sending me them and of course I had to pay for another one of my favorite um, blushes that I've been using 
last week and I want to use it to finish it off by the end of this month and that's the MUA blush and hopefully back to me some more <laughs> we'll see then I also have um, the MUA brow dispenser that I've been using as well um, I didn't put no brow fades in here but I do have the other one this is the Lava Lip. I love these things. This is the only one I have. I love this one. And I use it, not a lot, but I've been using it. Um, anytime I wanna, like I say, when I'm doing a video, I grab something, put it on my lip. Something I do grab, as well as my NYX. Simply Vamp. Oh my gosh, look at this color. I'm gonna swatch this. That is a gorgeous color. And it was like a Vamp color, and I loved it. Okay, I also like this one. I got this lip gloss by LA Colors from Family Dollar, and I saw the pretty color, and it came with the clear one on the other side, but I gave the clear one away in a swamp, and I just kept this one. My favorite powder foundation. Everybody's been hauling this foundation. I thought you couldn't buy this foundation. I thought it was like back when my grandmother was growing up and my mother was growing up, and it's been out since then too. And it's the it's been out since 1935. And I remember seeing my grandmother with the, this foundation, but it's perfect. I just love it. It's a loose base powder, and they come in like different shades, but I love it. I just love it, so that's something I think you should definitely have in your makeup collection. Okay. Another thing that's an empty product, I need to get some more of. I got this with one of the Almay mascaras, and it's Almay Smart Shade, and it was a little sample, and it's foundation, and I definitely need to get some more of that. I love my Too Faced Melted, and they have these on sale, I think, on the Too Faced website, so I really want to get some more of those. My favorite, con con not concealer, my favorite setting spray is the wet and wild and it's like my fourth bottle so i'm constantly buying them because i love that setting spray and then i love the essence gel and i've got this off of ulta website and i bought the essence um eyeliner brush to go with it but i have not used it another one of my faves um Mascaras is a Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is the sample size, and I would like to either get a swamp or somebody can send it to me in a fan mail, or I'll just eventually save the money and buy the bigger size. This is my yearly palette for this year. I will do a demo at the end of this year on this palette, but it is the Milani palette that I'm needing for my yearly, not yearly, but monthly palette, and I chose the Milani palette for this month, and it is awesome. I could not use this palette for the whole year because it would totally be gone at the end, but this is my monthly palette for this month. Then last but least favorite are two Revos that I definitely love. This is in the flavor Red Velvet Cake, or Red Velvet. I cannot find these no more and I need to get another one of these and this one is a caramel one they were, they were holiday valentine collection and christmas or something they were holiday collection and I love these and I would like to get these again I have another one that is dreamsicle that's orange that's in my bedroom sitting on my nightstand beside my bed I definitely want to get that one as well and that's it guys this is my yearly face. Um, you can thumbs this video up. You can thumbs it down. I really don't care. And if there's a product in here that is not empty, 
that you would like to see a review on, let me know. If you see something that I have that you have been looking for, and okay, we all got something in my oh, wait, wait. that you have been looking for, um, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to see what I can do about trying to help you in finding that particular product as well. Alright guys, so until next time, I love you guys, until next time, Until next time, guys. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe. And stay tuned because I got more videos to come.